Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back with another video. This tank right here is the five gallon Fluval and it's an all-in-one as well. You can see that there's two chromies in there and those are the ones that I moved from the 25 gallon tank. These fish aren't gonna stay in here but I did need a spot to put them so they'll be in here for a little bit longer, maybe a few weeks or you know, just enough time until I can make it to the LFS and bring them back. But you can see some of the branch rock that I had in my old tank. I ended up just moving here in this tank and I took some of the rock out of this tank and I moved it into the 25 gallon. And so it seemed to work out perfect, you know. There was no, um, no wasted space. Those two clownfish right there they are a pair and I've had them probably for a little over maybe about a month now and they're super super um, darty like they seem to always swim really fast in quick instances and it's pretty cool to watch yeah those fish are pretty cool I've always liked clownfish um, something about them, uh, like the way they kind of wiggle around and their facial expressions, they kind of put off like a, um, kind of like, like they're semi-grumpy, but then also you can tell sometimes that they, they seem to be in really good moods. And it seems to be really relaxing just to, just to see these fish. I mean, they're, they're super, super cool fish. So if you've ever had, um, clownfish then you know exactly what I'm talking about um, my plan here is obviously to, to grow them out or just 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 to see how long I could actually keep them this tanks pretty cool it has the whites and the blues um, I ramp it up for like 30 minutes in the morning with the blues and then I bring it to the whites um, then I'll ramp it down about another hour uh, right before their bedtime but I don't really have too much coral in here. I don't really think I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of coral in here anyways. I think I have one small frag of uh, green star polyps uh, in the back part area. This tank's pretty neat. The, the glass on it, it's pretty clear actually. And I like that a lot about it. It has that rimless look and that kind of modern feel which is another cool aspect about this tank. One thing that is a little, uh, it's a little weird is that the glass panels are super thin. So like when I'm wiping it down, I'm just really careful because um, I don't want to put too much pressure and uh, have the tank just lose its grip with the silicone and just, you know, fall apart. But for the most part, everything is going great with this tank. Um, I really can't complain. I like this tank a lot. And um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool nano tank. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you guys have a great day.